Hi everyone and welcome to this new Lexit Founders Series video where we interview top blockchain entrepreneurs to gather their opinion on the sector of M&A. So today we are talking with Arthur Yu from Cyberving. Thank you so much for joining us, Arthur. So Arthur has had an amazing trajectory. He's been studying at the Imperial College in London and he has worked at JP Morgan until last year when he started Cyberving. So Cybervane is supposed to be interconnecting the data that runs the world. It's supposed to reinvent decentralized databases and the way we secure and monetize information. So Arthur, this sounds just amazing, but can you give us an example of actually how it works? Yes, yeah, sure. So you can imagine there's a, like a lab who needs a large amount of data to run their experiments. So for now, a uh, lab can only using their own data set to do that. But with CyberVank, you can imagine there are several labs with the same purpose, with the same or similar experiments. They can join in each other. They can share sharing their data so that their database for the experiment will be much, much larger. And then those labs will be all benefit from their sharing database. So that's what CyberBank do. We give out the possibility for people to connect their data, to exchange their data, to trade their data. Actually, we are a network of immutable blockchain-based database. So what we do is to, we use technology to uh, secure the data and uh, give out the correct tool set for people, enterprise or organization to share and exchange their data and give out the right tool to secure, to store those data for them to achieve their purpose. So that's amazing. And I think in order to make this work, you have developed cutting edge technologies. One of them is DAG, right? Can you explain what that is? Yes, DAG is directed a single graph. So basically DAG is another kind of uh, network structure other than blockchain structure. So in DAG, instead of using having miners and the blocks, we don't have we don't have that. And we have units that containing transactions. So all the transactions are validated by other nodes. Nodes helps each other, but not a miner helping validating the transactions in blockchain. So in that way transaction can go really, really fast and can go out at the same time. Uh, they don't have to wait for a miner to pack up the whole block and then to broadcast. That what DAG is. And uh, we are improving the DAG structure to make it more secure and uh, make it faster, more reliable for CyberBank. All right. And I believe this is not the only technology you developed, right? You have developed this cutting edge virtual machine uh, for databases. And I don't think we have the time in this video to talk about it. Um, but um, people, if they are interested, can go on cyberving.org and find all the information on those virtual machines for databases. And since you have developed this awesome concept that actually can revolutionize the way we handle data, you have already received an offer to buy a company, right? Can you tell us more about this? Yes, uh, that's in a very early stage. Um, at that time, uh, a company coming to me said, oh, okay, I know you have the correct um, technology for blockchain and I know your business logic. So they give me an offer for 1 million US dollar, roughly 1 million US dollar to buy the whole company and they are also providing the uh, technology team and the PR team, marketing team for us. So that's the deal at that time. Wow, well, that's amazing. And so as a young entrepreneur who just started a project that was very early stage, how did you know if this offer was fair or not? How did you assess the amount they offered you? Um, so, uh, from my education, I have a finance background, so I can easily know if this offer is acceptable or reasonable, but, but at the same time, I'm the entrepreneur, I'm the founder of this project. So at that time, my reason to re reject this offer is that uh, our technology is going to make a change in enterprise 
in organizations business and uh, this amount of money uh, is not maybe it's it's a uh, big money for me at that time but i'm pretty sure this is only a small part of money i will receive after my technology is launched well, and, well that's amazing i wish you the best of luck in this for sure um but thank you I mean, in this process, I think maybe thinking about this whole thing alone might be a bit difficult. Did you ask for any advice in this process? Did you talk to an expert in company valuation or anything like this? Yes. Uh, the first one I spoke to is my partner, of course. So my partner also has finance background. And then uh, we discussed this about and uh, we also look into the history of that, who is trying to buy us. And uh, we also look the history of the uh, blockchain and, uh, industry. And then we evaluate this. And the second person I talked to is the uh, expert, uh, blockchain technology expert. Um, he is very looking forward to our technology and uh, he suggests me to not to uh, sell any idea or tech technology at this point of time and uh, we can make it bigger. We can make it greater um, later. So these two people, my partner and uh, the experts, also my friends, helps me to decide this. Well, that's great. But I think also that you were very lucky to have this amazing finance education, to have people around you who could advise you. But what we've noticed, you know, during this uh, Lexit Founder series videos is that actually many people don't have this surrounding, don't have these people that can ask, you know, if your company valuation is correct, if an offer you received is correct. And this is kind of the aim of Lexit is to create this marketplace for M&A and IP and basically to make a sort of Airbnb where you can sell your company or parts of it, but you can also find all the experts you need in this process. And so whoever you are, you can use Lexit to buy and sell startups or brands or intellectual property or code or whatever you, you can think of, you know, as a part of a company. And so my question is, <clears throat> if you had been willing to sell your company or want to sell it in the future, do you think having a platform like Lexit where you can be connected to experts and other buyers would have made the selling process easier for you? Uh not only making the selling process easier, the more important is that entrepreneurs normally stay in their company but have a lack of uh, overview of a company. I think platform like Lexit give you the possibility to view, to see what other people see your company and explore more value than what just the founders see. So that's what, what I think is the most important part Lexit gives us. Well, thank you so much for this, uh, for this conclusion. I think there is a, no better way to, to stop this video. Um, maybe, you know, I just want to wish you again the best of luck with Cybervain. I think it's an amazing project and it also has a noble purpose because I think it can help research, it can have many use cases uh, and data is uh, the new commodity of the century. So thank you so much, Arthur. Maybe you'd like to add something before we finish this interview? Yes. Um, actually, I think the blockchain industry is evolving very, very fast right now. And uh, what we need is the correct team to do the technology, but also the correct platform like Lexit to help entrepreneurs to see where they are in the industry. So as a founder, we try to push the technology at the same time we try to uh, make the better company. So I think we should have both two. We, have, we, should, we think we, we should have the best two to do what we are doing right now. Thank you so much, Arthur, for this conclusion. And thank you so much for joining us today. But also thanks to our viewers for watching this Lexit Founders series video. We hope to see you in the next ones. Goodbye. <laughs>